Reliability analysis in SPSS is a statistical method used to assess the consistency or stability of a set of measurements or items in a scale. This analysis helps determine how well the items in a scale measure the same underlying construct. Reliability is a crucial aspect of scale development and validation, ensuring that the instrument produces consistent results over time and across different conditions. Key Concepts in Reliability Analysis Internal Consistency, Cronbach's Alpha The most commonly used measure of internal consistency, it assesses how closely related a set of items are as a group. A higher alpha value, closer to 1, indicates higher reliability. Split Half Reliability This method divides the items into two halves and compares the results. High correlation between the halves suggests good internal consistency. Test-retest reliability measures the stability of a test over time by administering the same test to the same subjects at two different points in time and then correlating the scores. Interrater reliability assesses the degree of agreement between different raters or observers. This is important for subjective measures where different people might score the same phenomenon differently. Parallel Forms Reliability evaluates the consistency of the results of two equivalent forms of a test. This is used when two different versions of the same test are administered. Steps for conducting reliability analysis in SPSS. Enter data. Ensure your data is properly entered into SPSS. Each item should be in a separate column and each respondent should be in a separate row. Access the Reliability Analysis tool. Go to Analyze Scale Reliability Analysis. Select Items. In the dialog box, move the items, variables, you want to analyze into the Items box. Choose the model. The default model is Alpha, Cronbach's Alpha, which is suitable for most internal consistency analyses. Options. Click on Statistics to choose additional statistics like Scale if item deleted or inter-item correlations for more detailed analysis. Run the analysis. Click OK to run the analysis. Interpreting results. Cronbach's Alpha. Values above 0.7 are generally considered acceptable, indicating good internal consistency. Values above 0.8 are considered very good. Item total statistics. Corrected item total correlation shows the correlation of each item with the total score. Low values, below 0.3, may indicate that an item does not correlate well with the overall scale and might be a candidate for removal. Cronbach's alpha, if item deleted, shows how the overall alpha would change if a particular item were removed. If removing an item increases the overall alpha, you might consider dropping that item from the scale. Inter-item correlations. High inter-item correlations, above 0.4, suggest that the items measure the same construct. Very high correlations, above 0.8, might indicate redundancy. Example output in SPSS. When you run a reliability analysis, SPSS will produce several tables. Key tables include reliability statistics, displays the overall Cronbach's alpha value. Item total statistics shows each item's correlation with the total score and the impact on overall alpha if the item is removed. Inter-item correlation matrix displays the correlations between all pairs of items. Conclusion Reliability analysis in SPSS is a critical step in ensuring that a measurement scale is consistent and reliable. By assessing internal consistency and other forms of reliability, researchers can make informed decisions about the quality and utility of their measurement instruments.